G'day and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the four-step procedure that I recommend for graphing parabolas. Now, I'm not going to give any of the theory. I gave that in the previous video. But let's analyse this one. Here's a quadratic equation. y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. Now I've chosen a fairly easy one to demonstrate with and here are the four steps. The first thing is we've tried to find the y-intercept and to do that we substitute x equals 0 because on our graph, actually I'll draw the axes in purple as well, on our graph the y-axis has the equation x equals 0. I'll just place some marks on here. We'll come back and visit this. Now if we substitute x equals 0, we get y equals 0 squared plus 6 lots of 0 plus 8, which equals 8. So my summary is therefore the intercept is at, and I'll call it the letter I, the point 0, 08. So let's mark that straight away. I should, should have gone much higher here, shouldn't I? So there's our intercept. Second step. Finding the x-intercepts. These occur at y equals naught because the equation for the x-axis is y equals zero. Now, the x-intercepts are located at the positions where we, that we call the roots or the zeros of the quadratic equation. So sometimes in the, as a heading here you can call them roots or zeros. But the x-intercepts are found this way, and I set the work out. I copy down the same equation, and I set it equal to zero at the roots, or the zeros. This particular equation is easy to factorise, and that's in fact why I just made it up. So x would be equal to minus 2 or minus 4. You can see I've entirely ad-libbed this. So I'll say therefore we have roots at, or x-intercepts at, I call them r1 and r2, as you might have learned from the previous video, minus 2, 0. That's when x is minus 2 and the y equals 0. And the second root will be at minus 4, 0. On the graph, these two positions. Now, the y-intercept, we could label with a capital I. And these roots, R1 is at minus 2, so I'll write R1. and R2. Do that in black. The third step is to find the axis. And again, I explain how I do that. This time I'm going to average the roots. You can claim that on the basis that the axis of the parabola is exactly halfway between the two roots because a parabola is symmetric or symmetrical. It has symmetry. So we average the roots to find the midpoint. So x equals 
Here are our two roots, minus 2 and minus 4 over 2, which is minus 6 on 2, which is minus 3. So at x equals minus 3, we can draw our axis. And the last thing we need to do, and I think I might just have room on the board, is to find the vertex. And again, I explain my method for doing it. Because the vertex lies on the axis, I use this information that x is minus 3. And I substitute it into the quadratic equation to find the y value. So y equals minus 3 squared plus 6 lots of minus 3 plus 8. Now I'm, I realise I'm basically running out of room here. This is 9 and minus 18 is minus 9 plus 8 is minus 1. And I hope this fits on your screen but my conclusion is therefore there's a vertex at I use the capital letter V for vertex at the point minus 3, uh, minus 1. And if I locate that here, minus 3, minus 1 is here. And I put a capital V for the vertex. This is the, the four-step procedure I'll be demonstrating over and over again for you to find the y-intercepts, the x-intercepts, the axis and the vertex in that order. I also like to explain each time how I'm finding them and uh, set them out with headings. And if you follow this procedure, it's very, very logical, very methodical, and it's very hard to go wrong. Uh, subsequent videos, I'll be explaining how to find the, the intercepts. There are a few different ways of doing that. There are a few different ways of finding the axis and the vertex. Uh, I'll even perhaps have a video about the y-intercept because it depends on how the quadratic equation is presented to you. So there will be some explanatory videos coming, but this is the basic structure. And of course, to complete the graph, because the, uh, the parabola has symmetry, this point here will be matched by one the same distance the other side. So if, if this is at minus 3, we've got 3 units across to the point I, the intercept. So we'd go three units the other way and have another point over here above neg negative six. And our parabola would look like this. Remember always to have a rounded tip, never an angle, because parabolas do not have points. They've got a rounded tip around a vertex. I don't wish to provide any other discussion at this point. I wanted a shorter video because I've just presented a number of long ones. I hope you've found that of value and I hope it's piqued your interest so that you might like to see some of the explanatory videos that follow. If you would like to see them then please click on the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified when they appear and uh, of course as always I'd appreciate your comments and uh, if you can click on the like button, that would help as well. Thank you for watching.